Hello, my name is Samer. This is the AER sampling basic training video. Today, I will show and describe the different components of the US EPA method sampling train. Uh, then I will show how these different components fit together. And lastly, I will show and describe the metering console. So this is AER sampling's glass nozzle. We have our tapered inlet which pulls in a gas sample, and then that gas will flow to the end that's connected to the probe liner. And here is a stainless steel 316 equivalent of the glass nozzle. We see our glass probe liner here, and we have our stainless steel probe liner as well. So we have our nut, our Teflon ferrule, our union, our O-ring, and the backer ring. So this is how we'll connect to the probe liner. This is AER sampling's combination probe assembly. So it's stainless steel 316. We have our S-type pitot tubes. We have our extra gas sampling tube and we have our thermocouple. And so inside of this you have your glass probe liner and we have a heater assembly as well. And so these just slide right in together. And then you're ready to connect to your glass nozzle on this end here. So now I will be describing AER sampling's filtering system. Here's our glass assembly. Equivalently, we have a stainless steel 316 assembly. For the, for the glass assembly, we have the probe liner, which will connect to the cyclone bypass. And that'll be clipped onto the filter holder. And then that will be clipped to the double L adapter, which has a thermocouple to record the gas temperature. And this whole system will be assembled and fitted into the heater box. This is AER sampling's condensing system. We have the fully assembled system inside of the impinger box to cool, uh, otherwise known as a cold box, to cool down the gas. So inside the box, we have four impingers, a plain impinger where the gas comes in through the center inlet, flows through reagents, and then the gas flows out of the extending arm through a U-tube into a Greenberg Smith impinger and then out through two more plain impingers. And these are connected to a strain relief with a thermocouple to ensure that the temperature of the gas flowing out is below 20 degrees Celsius. This is the fully assembled AER sampling US EPA sampling train with the umbilical cord that has a power line which powers the heating box, the blue gas sample line, yellow thermocouple lines, the black and white S-type pitot tube lines, and this umbilical cord will connect to our metering console. This is the AER sampling's metering console where we have a dry gas meter, the connections to the power lines, the valves that control the gas flow, the umbilical cord connectings, the pump connectings, the thermocouple jacks, and the selector switch, which chooses which thermocouple to read out on the temperature sensor. The vacuum gauge, the timer, the two 
thermal controllers for the probe heater and the oven heater. The temperature sensor and the manometer. Importantly, we will need to calibrate the nozzle, the S-type pitot tubes, the gas, dry gas meter, uh, the temperature sensor, and the orifice tube, which is inside the metering console. Also, we will want to check for leaks in the pitot lines and the sample line. And once we've done all that, we're ready to operate the system.